This Apollo Saturn launch control, T minus five minutes and counting. T minus five. Uh, the order has been given for the Apollo access arm to come to its fully retracted position. And now swing arm number nine uh, coming back to its fully retracted position. Uh, just before this order was given, we went through a final status check. The spacecraft is go. We also got a go from launch from mission director George Hage in Houston. And finally, launch director Rocco Patron here in firing room two. Our status board shows launch support preparations are complete and the ready lights are on for the instrument unit, the spacecraft, and the emergency detection system. We are go at T-minus four minutes, 21 seconds and counting. This is launch control. Apollo Saturn launch control coming up on three minutes, 50 seconds. Mark, T minus three minutes, 50 seconds and counting. We are go for launch. The countdown now turned over to the control of the launch vehicle test conductor for the last four minutes of the count. We will go on an automatic sequence starting at three minutes and seven seconds. Final communications checks now in progress uh, between the spacecraft test conductor and the crew aboard the spacecraft. Some final checks in progress at this time. We have the report that we are clear for firing command. That is the automatic sequencer that should come in in about 15 seconds. From that time on down, all aspects of the mission will be automatic, monitored uh, by uh, the computers here in the control center and at the pad. 310, we have firing command. Launch sequence start. The computer is in. The sequence is in at this time. Mark, T minus three minutes. T minus three minutes and counting. Our preparation is now complete. Our ready lights are on here in the control center. During this period, the various uh, propellant tanks aboard the three stages of the Saturn V will be pressurizing. Primarily, we use helium on the ground to pressurize these tanks. The various vent valves will close uh, as the countdown proceeds. We've now passed uh, two, two minutes, 35 seconds and counting. All still going well. Two minutes, 30 seconds. We should be getting an indication on pressurization of the third stage. We have it uh, here in the control center. Two minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The third stage now is pressurized. We'll be looking toward those uh, five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V. Uh, the ignition sequence to start at the 8.9 second mark in the countdown. We're now coming up on the two minute mark. Mark, T-minus two minutes and counting. T-minus two, all aspects of the mission still go at this time. The Apollo 9 crew standing by in the spacecraft. One minute, 50 seconds and counting. Once the ignition sequence does begin with the five engines, it'll take some uh, nine seconds or so to build up the proper thrust. Uh, the computers will automatically sample those engines and assure ourselves that we have 95% of the thrust. We will get a commit at that time and the four hold-on arms will come back. We're now 90 seconds and counting, 90 seconds and counting. Vice President Agnew now has come up to the window here in the Launch Control Center along with members of the party to view the launch. One minute, 20 seconds and counting. All indications are we are still go at this time. Third stage uh, propellant tanks have been pressurized. Final check uh, of several panels by Lunar Module Pilot Rusty Swiker. Second stage tanks now pressurized. Schweikert uh, confirms that he has the proper readings. One minute and counting. T minus 55 seconds and counting. All still going well. We're coming up on the power transfer. Mark, 50 seconds and counting. We're now on internal power uh, with the three stages and instrument unit of the Saturn V. Uh, all uh, propellant tanks in the second stage now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. The vehicle now completely pressurized. The vents closed. We are go. 30 seconds and counting. T minus 25 seconds and counting. All aspects still go at this time as the computer monitors. 20 seconds. Guidance release 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engines.
engines running. Commit. Lift off. We have lift off at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seconds. The roll and pitch program are in now. Put Apollo 9 on the proper flight, azimuth, and attitude. Half a mile high. Roll is complete. Apollo 9, Houston, your thrust looks good. Apollo 9, you are go for tower jet. Showing guidance initiate, everything looks good. Power nine, you are go all the way. Everything looks good. Roger. Hi, uh, Houston, did you read our comment that our SPS helium pressure went to zero? Indicated to zero at liftoff. Power nine, this is Houston. I did not copy. Now, Roger, be advised our SPS helium pressure went to zero at liftoff. All right, copy. Okay. If you got any good words on that, why don't you give them to me? Uh, All right, it is go here, uh, Apollo 9. Very good.
Apollo 9. It's five minutes. Everybody's happy as a clam here. Looking good. So are we. Apollo 9 at 8 minutes, everything is go. Roger. Staging complete, and have an S4B that's running. Uh, Roger, uh, we copy staging complete. We're showing good thrust on the S4B. Everything is go. Okay. We're guiding now. Oh, 
Apollo 9, uh, you have mode 4 capability and everything is go, you're real solid. Hey, Roger, what time you think you shut down? All uh, right. We'll have that for you in a flash, uh, Apollo 9. Ready? Okay. Yes, everything's looking good here, uh, Apollo 9. Okay. We'll try to have you cut off time shortly. Apollo 9, uh, copy. And Apollo 9, you are go in the orbit. Roger. And your CMC is go. It is valid. Okay. And Apollo 9, the S-4B has been safe. Uh, Roger, safe. Do you have a rapid change for uh, Not yet, uh, Apollo 9. Stand by. Okay. S4B has been configured for orbit. It's looking real good, and your SPS helium is solid as a rock. Oh, Roger, we copy. Thanks a lot. All uh, right. 